Hi, everybody. Welcome to After the Checker Flag here on SuperCrossLive.com. Ralph Shaheen, Ricky Carmichael, and Jeff Emig with you from the broadcast booth here in AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. We just watched Ryan Dungey take his second win of the year. And, Jeff, he's extended the points lead once again. Well, Dungey's always... Uh that that threat because he's so good he's so consistent all of the time he's only had one race this season where he's you know not in the top three not on the podium and that was a fourth yeah. okay yeah, right. so he's been on the podium every other time he just notched his second win he is the marker that the rest of the competition is gauging themselves off of now a week ago in petco park in san diego roxon and trey canard Put it to him, he could not match the pace. And then the script was flipped here in Arlington. He goes out, gets the whole shot, puts the pressure on them. And Roxon had made a move into second. He had Dungy in sight, but in the middle part of the race, Dungy was so strong. Roxon makes some mistakes and couldn't match the pace. If I'm the competition, I'm really worried that the former Monster Energy Supercross champion has got his confidence, his bike set up, and everything in his world where it needs to be. Because now that we've moved to the East Coast, he could put some serious damage in that points competition on on the competition yeah and that's the problem he might not win the most races this year but he's going to podium you to death oh absolutely i mean that's been his mo and these guys keep flip-flopping you know canard and ken roxon i think after tonight jeff uh, jeff and we all were talking about it earlier that i think this one pretty much put tomac out of the running for the championship unless he goes on a heater and wins a lot of races going to be hard to make up from what happened 38 tonight. points yeah he's, he's 38 points back so if i'm canard and roxon it's time to start putting it to the putting it to dungy or figure out what he's doing and start winning some races without a doubt if there is a twist to the story in the next coming weeks it's the georgia red clay two weekends in a row in the georgia dome well, the good thing about uh, racing inside of the, of the Georgia Dome and also two weeks in a row is the soil there is really good for racing uh, because it gets chewed up. At times it gets soft. We know we've had a lot of weather on the East Coast, so the, the soil that comes in is probably going to be pretty moist and rutted. It'll be drier the second week. Um, but the thing is, is that what I saw tonight is I think that Ryan Dungey and that brand new KTM 450, that they are really dialed in. He's comfortable on it. And so, uh, like Ricky said, the competition's gonna have to figure something out. And he happens to be the team owner of one of the competitions. So really, you guys gotta get some stuff figured out. Well, I just, <laughs> hey, you know, the bikes, the, the, the word we get is the bike's always good. So if the bike's good, then uh, it Only ain't, one other it, it part of the equation. Uh, that's right. So uh, at the end of the day, the rider has to make, you know, he's he is in control. So uh, he needs to figure it out. Well, we will show it to you live next Saturday from the Georgia Dome at 7 p.m. Eastern Time.